I want to welcome everybody to the Crothers Way. This is day four, and we're going to do some free work today, a little different than we have been. I've got some, I've got a sign out here that I did not take it off. Yeah, it is, I found it on my farm. I have a ball here, a piece of plywood, and a barrel. And like I said in day three, you know, we're not working with this butterscotch here between, you know, the day. So butterscotch is doing really great on the stuff we've already done. But remember, you can take a lot longer than just trying to do it in four days. So I'm going to work him around some of this stuff. And remember, he has my ultimate holder on what helps, makes this work better. So what do you say, butterscotch, huh? And with the work I've done with before in the body language is how it's going to help me get him across some of this stuff. What, you want your back stretched, huh? And he's a little concerned with stuff. I'll back up, let him check it out himself, and move on up there. And you got to remember your pen. Your pen is um, not to be too big, so you don't have to run around chasing if you can get a smaller pen. Go check out the ball. And you can put all kind of stuff in here. One more foot. There you go. And what's great about this is and getting desensitized to all the stuff that you have out here, you don't have a hold of it. If he takes off, he's just going to run to the end of the pen. So getting drugged or whatever because he's scared of stuff isn't uh, going to happen because you don't have a hold of it. Over the plywood. There you go. Easy, easy, easy. Good job. Oh, don't kick at it. Okay. Whoa. Two eyes. A little bit more. Come on, hot shot. Come on, butterscotch. Come on. Come on. Good job. Good. Hey, butterscotch, you want to follow me? Come on. Come on, cross the plywood. Cross the plywood. Think about it. Think about it. Okay. Go ahead. Step on it. Go ahead. Step on it. A little more. And sometimes when they've got objects that they're afraid of, which Butterscotch is doing pretty good, is to, you can put the object away from the wall and get him to walk by the wall on the object and then scoop the object over to the wall. If you get a ball, it's good to where you can just kick it, roll it up to them. It's moving. And if you got a calf that is real bad at kicking, you know, let him kick that ball a little bit. You know, if he wants to still kick, then after a few minutes of kicking it, he's going to quit. It takes a lot of work to kick. Now he's not quite as concerned about it moving uh, as he was. Oh, great job, Butterscotch. And then kick it back to you. Now you kick it back to me. Kick it straight. Oh, 
really a good kick player, Scott. Good job. And what you know in, in the previous days, Butterscotch, everything that he does, scared of or whatever, he kicks. Okay, so this is a great thing to do on trying to get him off the, the kicking. If he wants to kick this ball 100 times, I don't care. But any object that moves behind him and scares him, that's what he's going to do. So with the ball, I'm going to be able to desensitize him and get him tired of kicking. I didn't kick it very good, did I, Butterscotch? That was better. And he's kicking because he's scared, and that's his defense. slower. Good boy. And that's his defense. That's what he thinks he has to do. This is going to stop in, in uh, one treatment. But he's kicking at the ball, he kicking anything. That's you know, that's the thing that we're we're trying to break here. Okay, oh wow, that was a great kick, Butterscotch. Good boy, Butterscotch. Yeah. Oh, that was a real lot of effort. And a brush it? Mm -hmm. And he kicked it there. And I could do it. As soon as he got scared, because I did it kind of quick, then he started to do it back to his kicking a little bit. more kicking on his left hind than he is on the on his right. <clears throat> and he's pretty serious about his kicking. I mean, you just got to make sure that when you're in this position, you don't go up and kick the ball where he can reach you. Because you got plenty of room. You see the right leg, he doesn't seem to be as defensive with it as he is the other. He just hops up on it. And the kick is off, and kick it back. Oh, you missed it. And he's about to get tired of this, this game now. So, you know, when your steer or heifer has got, you know, some problems that are dangerous, you need to get it fixed and not just avoid it. Well, don't go around and go kick you. Uh, when you move your hand, move it slow. If you don't, he's going to kick you or run off. Well, out here in this free work, you can fix a lot of this stuff, and then you don't have to worry about if somebody just came up and went, hey, what you're doing when you're friends, and all of a sudden your steer or heifer go crazy. And you can't expect these animals to not be afraid of stuff if you don't work with them and get them to understand that it's not going to hurt them. Good boy. Good boy. Good stop. Great stop. Good job. And I know quite a few of you would have 
probably looked at that at this and said, he ain't gonna stop kicking. He still might kick, but he just didn't kick then, so. Now he's standing on a piece of metal. Butterscotch are doing great. Oh. So now he doesn't care. The ball's touched him. It's desensitized the back leg in a different position than I could uh, taking care of it and taking a shot at getting kicked. And that's all it is. These animals get scared and if they think they have to defend themselves, then that's what happens. Whoa, please. Give me two eyes. Hey, two eyes, not him. Butterscotch. There we go. Good boy. Well, I think we're going to stop on the desensitizing of all the stuff in here. Butterscotch did great. So I'm going to have Matt come in here and take some of the stuff out so we can move on here. I'm going to get Butterscotch on out of the way here. And, 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 the, and the thing, when you're moving stuff around, we get in the habit of wanting to move everything real easy. And, okay, we don't want to, we don't want to scare butterscotch. You know, don't worry about it. 